da, 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 da. Let's do this, goes up. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. Might have took the long way. We knew we'd get there someday. They say, I bet they'll never make it. What's up guys, Matt McCoy, country song teacher. Actually, I've got a new iPhone 15. Hopefully the video quality is a little better. Thought I'd do me a little quick little video here. Um, I haven't had a new phone. All the other videos, people ask me often what I record on, I'm like, I just use an iPhone and I tripod, nothing fancy. I was talking to another YouTuber, he was like, what? You don't have a real camera? I'm like, the iPhone works for me. I'm a simple kind of man, no microphone, just a tripod. And I got a new, also, they sent me this, a new Lava, uh, Lava Me guitar. Got the little iPad. I'm gonna do a kind of video showing this whole guitar, but it's got a great sound to it. I love this thing. Um, but the people, the number one thing I get question I get asked is what's a simple song to learn on, or what's an easy country song to play. This is a great one to learn. It's going to use the D, A, and G chords over and over. I have an E minor in there also, but you can't play that first fret. So for the verse, it's going to D to G to A the whole time. So you're gonna start with the regular D again. Can't play the first fret, third, bottom, and second. Show the bottom four goes up. Looks like we made it. Then, then keep that ring finger on that second string, lock in the two bottom strings, and go fifth and sixth. Look how far we, so two Gs. And then the way I play the A chord on songs like this, again, I keep that, it's kind of what I call it the pivot finger. That second string of the third fret pressed with my ring finger, and I press the two middle strings with one finger of the second fret. Show the bottom five. So, come my baby. So, the whole verse is you're gonna do one, two, three, four Ds, two Gs, two As. One, two, three, four Ds, two Gs, two As. So, for example, it goes up. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. Might have took the long way. Now, one thing you'll see me do on this D chord, again, it's third, bottom, second. On the third, the third strum, I'll take my middle finger off the bottom string and then put it back for the chord change. So it goes up. Uh, they say, I bet, so that, the G. They'll never make it. So it's on those last two, it's, so it's two Ds. Look at us holding on. Four A's. We're still together, still strong. So in the last two lines, you're doing two Ds, two Gs, and four A's. So you're gonna switch it up a little bit, but the same order. D, so it's now down at D, up to G, and A. D, G, A, the whole time, that kind of circle. D, G. Make sure, I, I preach this often in my strumming course, make sure you don't strop that strum when you're changing the chord. One of the things I did as a beginner, to mess you all up, is you, you do your chord, you stop strumming, switch to the chord, then you're out there, you stop, and then, you want to keep that right hand steady at your drum hand. The right hand's like a drum. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. Might have taken a long way. We knew we'd get there someday. They said, I've been. I 
to add the thumbs to our, um, I'll take the ring finger. I'll keep those two middle singers pressed and hammer on that second string. They go to that verse, I mean the chorus. Still, go to D, G, and the last chord, it's gonna be just like your A, except the E minor seven, the E minor, keep the ring finger. All the chords, you're keeping that ring finger on the second string, third fret. Second string, third fret. That's your pivot point to stabilize that guitar. So it goes up. Still the one I run to. E minor, the one that I be, and just slide it down instead of the fifth and fourth, you slide it on two middle for the A. song there like I said to work on once you kind of know the, the what chords you're playing what are the order of the chords and the timing a great way to kind of improve your playing that I do all the time is maybe see if you can get that timing down just picking down each string for example it goes up still the oh yeah sorry I had a little intermission there a lady from my mother's church just came up to my window she had a hundred pillowcases they made for the orphans. We have an orphanage in Bolivia, it has a hundred kids. Sometimes it's like 95, sometimes it's like 105, it kind of go in and out, but a hundred kids. And this lady made all these custom pillowcases for them. We're taking them down there for a mission trip. So pretty cool little visits there. So what I did, what I was saying there is I picked down each string. So it goes, still the one I run to, wanted I be alone. exercise like I said it's a little more advanced if you're if you're watching my videos let's say you're just beginning because a lot of times if your chords aren't sounding too clear you'll do this it's gonna sound all choppy versus if you kind of like just strum it softly you can fight through that Said, guys, if you want to play an A chord, just the two middle strings like that, that's fine. If you want to play, a lot of times I'll play it the third, fifth, and fourths. All my fingers squeezed in there. That's kind of the real A chord. It's going to sound like real rich and stuff there, but um, great little song there. D, A, and a G are the main chords, also an E minor. Like I said, if you, I always say, if you're just starting to learn guitar, do the G, C, D, E minor. G, C, D, E minor, the Matt McCoy four chords. That's what I go over my beginner guitar course where you lock in these two bottom strings. That's gonna be your fastest way to learn guitar. Then if you get more advanced, you can learn songs like this with the A chords and that kind of thing. So check out the website, guys, countrysongteacher.com. A lot of y'all have been buying my strumming course and beginner guitar course. So thank you so much for really blessing my family with that. And um, we'll keep rocking and rolling the videos this week. Happy Thanksgiving week. We'll keep knocking out videos all week. Love you guys. God bless you.